Despite having endured their fair share of scandals in the past, including a rather public divorce in 1996, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson have remained incredibly close. Claiming to be the happiest divorced couple in the world according to Sarah, the pair even still share a home at the 30-room Royal Lodge in Windsor. But one royal expert has claimed that the late Queen Elizabeth may be at least partly responsible for the two remaining on such good terms, even after Prince Andrew fell into public disgrace in 2019 when his relationship with sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was revealed and he stepped back from royal duties. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, explained to The Sun that this strong relationship is unlikely to waver any time soon and that Fergie is expected to stand by her ex-husband for the foreseeable future as she has done for so many years. Both parties have continued to support each other, including throughout the various scandals they have each been entangled in, but according to Seward, that definitely doesn't mean it has been easy. But the Queen, Seward claims, could have played a huge part in this suggesting that her advice may be responsible for keeping him close. She said, Sarah must have talked to the Queen and she must have said please look after Andrew for me. And that's what she is going to do. I don't think she will leave him and I don't think they'll get married again. Prince Andrew and Sarah were initially married in lavish ceremony at Westminster Abbey in July 1986. The couple had two children together, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, before officially divorcing in 1996 after a decade together. Despite the fact that when they were first together, Fergie reportedly found Prince Andrew's arrogant style challenging, the expert noted that she owes it to the prince to not abandon him. She said, she is not going to walk out on Andrew because he supported her in all the various scandals she has been involved in. In 1992, the pair's marriage broke down publicly when multiple images of Fergie with other men on two separate occasions circulated in the press. Whilst she was ousted from the inner royal circle for a time, she eventually mended her relationship with Andrew who was widely recognized to be Queen Elizabeth's favorite son. Seward continued, it would NT look too good if she walked out on him. She just would NT. I don't think Shush is too loyal, she is just a really lovely character trait, she is very protective of him now because he needs protecting. Sarah has only ever shared praise for the late queen, even claiming that her relationship with her former mother-in-law was better than the one she shared with her own mother, calling her her greatest mentor. She shared the sentiment on a podcast, saying, honestly, my mother-in-law has been more of a mother to me than my mother. Shushes, never faulted.